Okay, we're ready for our next step. We just added in our Ha as a luminance image, and this is looking quite spectacular right now, I think. So what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna start preparing ourselves some for some major adjustments here. We're gonna start doing some intensity transformations on our image, and what we need to do before we do that is extinguish these stars because I don't wanna to touch the stars. I don't wanna harm them. I don't wanna do anything bad to these stars. So let me just go to process, mask generation, star exterminator. Now, if you're wondering if star exterminator and blur exterminator are related, they are. They're both by a company called RC Astro and star exterminator is also a paid plugin. You may say to yourself, well, I don't wanna pay for all these plugins. Yes, there's alternatives. You can get Starnet and you can do whatever, but I use Star Exterminator. What I'm gonna do is just take this. I'm gonna have, I have these two check boxes checks. Generate star image. You definitely wanna check that off. And you wanna check off unscreen stars in some cases. Most of the time with nebulas, you wanna check off unscreen stars, but you know, uh, you know, it's a case by case basis. So you gotta see how it treats your image. So I'm gonna apply this. This is very simple, right? It's just a step. We're gonna get get rid of our stars. We're gonna take them right out of the image. Try doing this in Photoshop, by the way. There is star exterminator for Photoshop. You could take out your stars, but it doesn't give you a star image to recombine later, which is really annoying. So when I saw that in Pixinsight, site, I was like, wow, look at this, look at this. You could actually get a star image that you combine back in later. Wow, so cool. I don't have to blend layers or do anything crazy like that. All right, we're almost finished here. I'm just babbling. So we're at 93, 94, 95. We're getting close. Oh, look at that. So here you go. You could see we got a completely separate star image over here that we're going to kind of put aside. We're going to put it up. Oh, there you go, star image. You're going to wait right over here. Our next step is to start doing some intensity transformations, you know, some curves, some colors, some stuff, make this look even cooler, right? That's like the fun part of that. That's kind of like the shit you do in Photoshop. Yes, step nine, we finally got to doing some, well, fun stuff, I guess you could say. I'll see you on the next step. Actually, it's gonna be step 10. I'll see you on the next step. I'll talk with you soon. Bye.